Axel, attenzione. Come over here. Come over here. Sit. Sit. Sit down. Sit down now. So this is Axel and my favorite latte or, you know, coffee. It's my favorite coffee, period. I'm going to show you how to make it. Just picked up this little handy dandy. I used to have the bigger model, but it's all I used to drink. I think it's the best coffee out of these, uh, like it's like a percolator. And uh, so anyway, here's the water in the bottom. Come on in and look. So you set the water in the bottom. Put your coffee and have the water just underneath. Okie dokie. Lavazza. Thank you, Tim Jerish, a.k.a. Champ, for bringing me the uh, Lavazza. And... Uh, I just ordered this, just came yesterday. I've had three cups already. And uh, screw her on. I like that little handy dandy little uh, safety valve. One thing with these, if you get them, it's a uh, Vagano. Vagano from Italy. They got different sizes, but I don't see them now up on. Uh, Hey, Amazon came two days later. It's, you know, unbelievable. So, turn it up on high. This is my favorite coffee cup. You know, you know, it's got the thin edge on it. Uh, it's, you know, they don't crack and you don't lose them. I guess it's bone china. I'm not sure. Got a, got a crack there. Even if I lose the handle, I'll still keep this cup. I love it. So, um. Got the honey, and uh, so we'll, we'll get that at the ready. I'm gonna put a little cream in here, and then Axel gets. I leave that much in the bottom. You get you get the taste, always, and he knows when it's cool, just just barely cool enough. And his dad, guys, cool with blues, having some fun here. Gonna have a nice cup of coffee. The next recipe we're going to do is going to be a pork chop. It's going to be Colorado green chili pork chops. So we're going to have a nice cup of coffee, then we're going to get busy. Be right back. All righty. Okay, so so it's starting to, I can hear it starting to bubble up. I'm going to put a little bit of cream in the bottom of my cup. And Lakeisha, she corrected me, is her, her grammatic... Uh, Expressions are right on, right on the money. But she, I, you know, I, I said cracked coffee cup, meaning you get a crack in it, and a regular glass or a cup, you got to throw it out. This here got a chip, chipped edge, got a chip out of here, and it, it takes a licking and keeps on ticking, just like me and Axel. <laughs> so, whether or not you want to heat this up or steam it up, whatever, I put it, I put it in a microwave, thirty seconds. This is what I love right here. Come on in, quick. Look at that. Look at it. All right. I don't know, something about that sound I love. But see, you brought it up just to the uh, just to the bottom of that filter. But here, here's a secret deal. You, you've got to take this off or shut it off, okay? And uh, 30 seconds. 30 seconds, we got nice hot cream, half and half, your choice. Look at this, watch now. Look at that, oh my God. And I kind of grind it on the fine side because I like those, I like those, uh, the little, little bits of grind in the bottom of the coffee. I put a nice spoon of honey in there. Okay. All righty, right. Now I got a few grinds from the uh, spoon in the top. That never. That's uh. We got we, like Cowboy Kent calls it. Cowboy coffee. 
it's not real coffee unless you put have a few grinds. But you know, this this is like my buddy George when he makes his coffee. Uh, where do we get that coffee from though? Sometimes uh, Seattle Best is it Chicago Coffee Company? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's like our favorite regular. You know, we have a we have a pour over mm -hmm. uh, filter that goes over the cups. You pour it over. Mm -hmm. Somehow, kind of loses a little bit of its uh, the, the 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 heat. But my my buddy George, he's such a coffee uh, aficionado, I guess we call it. He puts the timer into the water <laughs> and, and, and boils the water, lets it cool down to a certain, certain temperature. Axel, get over here and behave yourself. Until, it, until it, it brings the temperature down a little bit, and then he makes coffee. But this comes out like super hot, but it, 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 uh, the top has got a rubber filter on the bottom. So what I say is you pull the heat off because if, if you leave the heat on when the burner is still going, and I, before I've had other other units that I've gone out of the room and it's overheating. It doesn't actually warp, but it 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 it, it, it does something to that uh, ring, uh, uh, and it starts leaking. You know when it's boiling up. But here we go. Actually, good smell. Ah, that's what my buddy George does. He had was in a Dunkin' Donuts business up in the Cape. Every morning he'd do his coffee. Ah, but mm -hmm. that's how we do it, right? My buddy, my buddy Axel. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know you're going to get a taste. <laughs> He's getting a little senile. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know about senile, but but uh, it seemed like his vision's going a little bit. Seven years old. and uh, But, hey, you know what? We're in the same boat. Hey, this is Daddy Jack's Cool with the Blues here. Nice cup of coffee. Stay tuned for those. Colorado green chili uh, pork chops. It came to me in the wee hours of the morning after I woke up. And I'm thinking I got these beautiful pork chops. Uh, I've been thinking about it for, you know, three or four days, maybe a week. But uh, my friend, uh, when I worked in Colorado up at Johns Manville World Headquarters, we, had, we fed 3,500 people a day. And Otto was a chef, a fantastic. He had been the chef at Cherry Hills Country Club. And now he, he cooked, he ran this kitchen. And I took the job after my apprenticeship in Hartford. And uh, and I, I, I it was kitchen supervisor. I had no idea that it didn't involve any cooking. I ran a dish crew of 10 people, uh, did all the purchasing and receiving for 3,500 meals a day, Monday through Friday. We had executive cafeteria, executive, uh, I don't think they even called it cafeteria. Fed 150 people. R&D development got 350 meals a day. And, uh, but Otto made this Colorado green chili and I could still taste it to this day. And I'd have it over rice. And uh, to, to this day, it's probably one of my uh, one most favorite meals. And I'm gonna try to duplicate it. Axel, keep it down. Excellent cup of coffee. Give us a little boost of energy late in the afternoon here. And uh, we're, 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 we're grateful. Blessings in, in 2021. Good health and prosperity. And uh, peace.